हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मिसेस एलवीना डिमेलो फ्रॉम सेंट पॉल्स हाई स्कूल मीरा रोड ईस्ट एंड आई एम योर साइंस टीचर होप स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन एंड सेफ एट होम एक्चुअली वी वर गोइंग टू मीट इन द स्कूल फॉर द एकेडमिक ईयर बट बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉकडाउन वी कु मीट सो वी आर कनेक्टिंग थ्रू दिस मीडिया दैट इज फोन सो स्टूडेंट्स Today we are going to start a new topic. I am going to teach for standard fourth, that is environmental studies, and our topic name is interrelationship between living things. So before we begin with our topic, let's solve a riddle. I know you all like to solve the riddle. Yes or no? Yes. So I will show you a question, and you have to think and give me the answer. Okay student let's begin a riddle to solve an age old tree with a thick strong trunk gives deep dark shade from the scorching sun like an old man's beard with many strands it has ropes for swinging from every branch can you guess which tree is it yes it's the banyan tree A banyan tree is a wide straight tree which gives deep dark shade to the passers by and shelter to the birds and animals. That is why we say that trees are our best friend. So student now let's begin with a new topic the interrelationship between living things. What is interrelationship? the way in which two or more things are connected with each other is called interrelationship for example man depends on trees or plants for fruits fruits and vegetable medicines wood etc this is now we come to know about the conviction or interrelationship of human beings with trees and plants children we all know the basic necessities of our life the basic necessities of our life are food air water clothes and shelter all these are the basic necessities of our life now let us see how these things form our basic necessities like food we get from plants and animals air we get from our environment water we get from rains rivers lakes etc clothes we get from plants and animals shelter resources available from plants and animals too in some places as All these needs are fulfilled by the resources available in our surrounding that is our environment as environment plants animals are all parts of our life we all are totally dependent on them hence the need of all living things are met in their environment In the environment plants animals human beings all are interdependent on each other Now students what is interdependence let us see Interdependent means that two or more people or things are dependent on each other Now let us understand the needs of living things students do you think that the needs of all the living things is the same yes or no come on think now student let us see some example to get the answer a fish can breathe in water but can a pigeon do the same a sheep eats leaves or grass whereas a tiger do not eat the same bulrushes grow in water that is they are aquatic plants 
एक्वेटिक प्लांट मीन्स द प्लांट्स विच ग्रोज इन वॉटर बट कैन अ लेमन ट्री ग्रो देर द आंसर टू ऑल दीज थिंग्स इज नो दिस शोज दैट द नीड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट लिविंग थिंग्स आर डिफरेंट Our next topic is fulfillment of needs. Now student, what is fulfillment? Living things adapt themselves. That is they survive or grow in those areas where all their needs are fulfilled. The basic needs of all living things is the same. So students, what are the basic needs of living things now? Food, air, water shelter and clothing let us see this through an example a tiger has stripes on its body it hides in tall grasses its prey cannot see it when the tiger is hungry it can feed on them there are hills and mountains so that it can find place for shelter This example points that any type of living things are found in areas where all their needs are fulfilled. So understood students. Now students we also keep some animals to satisfy our needs. They become dear to us. We look after them, feed them, we take care of them, we take them to vet if they fall ill. Now Okay students wet what is wet wet is a doctor of an animal so these animals to return our affection now students how do they return our affection by giving us different things now what are those things we are going to see come on okay students we get milk meat eggs and several other things from animals some animals are used for carrying burdens or drawing carts domestic animals are also used to help with heavy farm work and fields dogs guard our house and sheep gives us wool okay students just as we need animals we eat plants too because plants give us food grains vegetables and fruits we love flowers too we use them for many different purposes we get flowers from plants we also get cotton wool from plants to make cotton clothes other animals also get their food from the environment for example chameleon eat insects when they are hungry some snakes mice and frogs tiger eat deer goat and sheep eat leaves of plants and cattle eat grass so understood students living things also get their food from the environment okay student now tell me there are some things common in this picture can you guess the common thing Yes it is the tree Are you familiar with this creatures Yes you might be Yes or no this they are sitting on the tree so the animals that live in trees are called arboreal animals For example monkey squirrel bees and chameleon they all live in the tree so they are called as arboreal animals children you might have come across with many types of animals but we are going to deal more with arboreal animals so let us learn more about arboreal animals this word comes from the latin word arbor which means tree arboreal means living in trees so animals like monkeys squirrels etc love to make their shelters in trees These animals choose the tree as shelter and there are certain advantages to eat. Now what are the advantage we are going to see? 
the advantages are to defend themselves from enemies how trees help them to defend them from their enemies let's see animals like monkeys and squirrel lives on trees it gives them certain special kind of advantages a tree being at a taller height protect this animals from their enemies to satisfy their hunger as trees are full of fruits and vegetable flowers it is easy for this animals to pluck it out and satisfy their hunger to help new trees to grow in different places you might be thinking now these animals help the trees to grow in different places yes let me explain you how do they do that unknowingly the animal help the tree with whose support they live as they move around here and there in the surrounding they spread the seeds of the fruits they have eaten through their droppings dropping means droppings are the excreta of the animals or the birds because of this new trees grow in different places also it is good advantage for the birds because it helps to build their nest and to feed and look after their young ones okay students now tell me what is the name of this bird can you tell me yes it is an egret This egret is a certain kind of egret which feeds only on insects and found in the grassy areas. Now let's check how this bird fulfill their hunger. Let's see how an egret rides on buffalo's back. When a buffalo is grazing in grassy areas, you are likely to see an egret riding on its back. But let's see students. A certain kind of egret feeds on different kind of insects. Grass is full of different kinds of insects, but because these insects are hidden in the grass, the egret cannot see and catch them. Let us see how an egret find this insects. As the buffalo treads on the grass. Now student, what is treads? Tread means to walk on the grass. it frightens the insect due to which they fly out of the grass the egret on the buffalo's back makes no mistake in snooping down to catch and eat them up so students did you all understand that how why and how egret rides on buffalo's back okay now let's move on to the other top Okay students so what have we learned so far come on let's revise it the needs of living things are met in the environment there are differences in the need of different living things arboreal animals live in trees like monkeys squirrels etc living things thrive where all its needs are fulfilled okay students have you all understood okay students so have you all understood now the next half lesson we are going to cover in part 2 that is in next video so we are going to meet in next video okay student till then have a good day and stay safe